you heard the static noise coming out of my muscles right well it wasn't some random noise but the actual sound of my muscles and i was able to record it using this tiny little board this is biom version 1.5 a small and portable single channel biopotential amplifier with a no code setup that can help you visualize and listen to your muscle signals the best part is that it doesn't require any microcontroller board let's look at some of its features and specifications so it has minimum input voltage of 7 to 9 volts and that's why we will be using this battery to power it it has input impedance of 10 raised to the power 7 ohm a fixed gain of around 200 times and talking about the dimensions so it has a length of 5 centimeters and a breadth of 3 centimeters if you want to create the complete setup for yourself then you can get this kit so this kit includes a bioam version 1.5 pcb all these components that you will be soldering on the pcb bioam cable v3 of 100 centimeter length 15 pieces of gel electrodes, a muscle bioamp band or an EMG band, a 9 volt snap cable, a bioamp aux cable and a guide. So this guide will get you started on how to use the kit. First of all, you'll have to solder all the components on the PCB as per this guide. Once everything is soldered, the board will look like this. There are various possibilities to use BioM version 1.5. So let's divide this video into three segments. First, we will be using it to listen to the muscle signals. Then we will connect it to a mobile phone. And at the last, we'll be connecting it to a laptop to visualize the muscle signal. Let's start with the segment one. Let's connect this BioM cable V3 to the BioM version 1.5 by using this port. Then we will do some skin preparation on the targeted area to remove any dead skin cells, oils or any dirt so as to record good quality signal. The excess gel can be wiped off using this alcohol swab or a wet wipe. Now snap the BioM cable V3 on the gel electrodes, peel off the plastic backing and place them on the skin surface in a way such that ion positive and ion negative electrodes are placed near the ulnar nerve and reference is placed on the bony part here. But these gel electrodes can only be used once and discarded afterwards. Also, it pulls out a lot of hair while you remove the gel electrodes. So we came up with a solution. You have an option to use this muscle biom band or an EMG band included in the kit. We have already made a complete video on how to assemble this band and use it. You can find the link to that video in the description box below and somewhere in the top right corner. Snap the BioAM cable on the muscle BioAM band in such a way that ion positive and ion negative are placed on the arm near the ulnar nerve and reference on the far side of the band. Now put a small drop of electrode gel or 1020 paste between the skin and dry electrodes to get the best signal acquisition. Finally, it's time to switch on the BioAM version 1.5 by plugging a 9V battery via a 9V snap cable to this port and turning on the switch. The red LED glows which means everything is correct. Now comes the best part. Let's listen to the muscle signals. Connect the cable to this port via a 4 pin JSTPH connector and plug the other end of the cable to 3.5mm jack of the speaker. Turn on the speaker and flex your muscles. You also have an option to listen to the muscle signals on earphones or headphones. So connect the earphones on this 3.5mm jack of BioAM version 1.5 and plug them in your ears. Now flex again and listen to the muscle signal. It's pretty interesting, right? Let's move to the next segment of this video which is visualizing the muscle signals on a mobile phone. The easiest way is to visualize the muscle signals on the phone recorder. Connect the other end of the cable on the mobile phone using 3.5 mm jack. Open the phone recorder and press the start button. 
Now flex your muscle and see the recorder. You would see a spike in the signals. This spike is the muscle signal. This data can be saved as a dot .wav file which can further be converted to any other format like CSV if you want to conduct further experiments using this data. The second option is to download Backyard Brain Spike Recorder app from Play Store or App Store depending on the mobile phone you are using. Now open the app, click the setting icon on the top right corner and set the recording type to EMG. Apply the 50Hz or 60Hz notch filter depending on the country you are living in. For example, if you are in India, then the AC current oscillates at a frequency of around 50Hz but it oscillates at 60Hz frequency in USA. This AC current acts as a noise in the signals, so we have to remove it by applying this notch filter. Again click on the setting icon to close it and you are ready to go. Flex your muscles to be able to visualize the muscle signals. You can also record this data as a dot .wav file. The final and last segment of this video is visualizing muscle signals on a laptop. So connect the BioAmp aux cable to your laptop using 3.5mm jack. Install the Backyard Brain Spike Recorder app as per the operating system you are using and install it in your laptop. The download link of the spike recorder can be found in the description box below. Open the software, click the settings icon on the top right corner and set the low bandpass filter to 72Hz and the high bandpass filter to 720Hz. Apply the 50Hz or 60Hz notch filter as you did while using the mobile app of this software. Click on the settings icon to close it and you are ready to go. Flex your arm to be able to visualize the muscle segment. You can record the EMG data as a dot .wav file by pressing the record button on the top right corner of the app. The second option is to use Audacity. You can download it using the link in the description box below. Now open the software, set the recording device to microphone and start the recording. Flex your arm to be able to visualize the muscle signals in Audacity. The link to the complete documentation on BIOM version 1.5 can be found in the description box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel Upside Down Labs for more such latest launches, project ideas and more. Let's make neuroscience easy to learn with Upside Down Labs. Bye-bye.